Hello everybody, it's Rhino and I am here with Craig at Disneyland Park and more specifically we are here in New Orleans Square right outside of the Mint Julep Bar. Yes, you know, we're always here. We love a good Mint Julep. It is the official drink of Disneyland and of late they've been doing a lot of fun seasonal flavors and since we're here in the fall, guess what is here? It's Mickey beignets that are pumpkin beignets and uh, a hibiscus mint julep is the seasonal flavor. So we're going to talk all about that in a second but before we get started I just want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line vacation. When you book with them it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce. So. Now that I've said that, we waited in a line. Craig was confronted rather aggressively by the cashier. I'll let him tell you about it. But it was all for this hibiscus mint julep, which is described as a refre refreshing blend of hibiscus and mint with a hint of lime. It is $5.49. I'm just gonna go ahead and sip it. Mm. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's delicious. Um, for me personally, uh, the La Croix that I like to buy and have in my refrigerator is the hibiscus flavored one. And this is like nice, super concentrated hibiscus. It still does have um, the mint, like kind of a citrusy flavor that goes with the mint julep, but it, you can definitely, definitely get the hibiscus in there. So uh, I am a fan and it looks like it's even got some hibiscus like flowers floating around up in there. Um, but I think for some, the centerpiece of this is the pumpkin spice Mickey shaped beignets. And uh, those are rolled in a pumpkin spice sugar. We did the three pack, which is $5.49, or you can get the six pack, which is $8.99. But we're not being little piggies today. You gotta make sure you shake it up real good. Give the people what they want. Mm, 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 mm. Do you think I shook it enough? Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna reach my filthy hand down inside of this bag. Hello. It smells, they're like, they very much remind me of like the, uh, the powdered sugar, like the donut holes. Uh, what's special about these though, is that uh, we also got a side of a coffee caramel dipping sauce. Now I was like, eh, I just wanted the Mickey beignet. The man aggressively sold Craig two of these dipping sauces. These are an additional $1.19. Um, but we couldn't not get it because it was, we're not confrontational, so now we got two dipping sauces, but I'm going to try it regular first. I think the powdered sugar is actually very light on the pumpkin spice flavor, so for me it kind of, mm, like I get it a little bit I guess. It's not, it's not as pumpkin-y as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to dip in the sauce now, deep. There's no way we'll need two sauces. No way at all, because literally nothing came out. Like, okay, here we go. It's pretty good. I mean, it's very caramelly, not super coffee. Like the coffee, I feel like for me is on the back side of it, which is good because I do not like um, really coffee flavored things. I'm not a coffee drinker. It's pretty good. I'll be interested to see uh, see what Craig, what you think of these in a second. Mmm, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I am going to wait on my hibiscus mint julep until after I eat the pumpkin spice. I'm wondering if that might have played into why Rhino couldn't really taste it as well. Maybe he had a little bit too much hibiscus on the brain. Sometimes that'll happen. We all know that. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Okay, so here goes a little nibble on the ear. Oh yeah. Mm. There's like a slight hint of cinnamon to it, but not much else. I, I'm not getting pumpkin spice from this. And I feel like I've had this in other Halloweens in the past and I always got the pumpkin spice. This one is just not, it's not pumpkin spicy enough for me. Yeah. It's not, it's not in that level. But I do love a good dipping sauce from uh, the Mendula Bar now. Love that everything they do has to have an upcharge dipping sauce with it. 
and uh, this one I hope will definitely please me because I love a good caramel and I love a good coffee. You say and caramel? I love a good, yeah, caramel. I'm actually surprised that you said you couldn't taste the coffee in it because that's the first thing I could taste immediately it was a big hit of coffee and then the caramel kind of smoothed that out a little bit. I love it. I love this dipping sauce. Uh, it's, I, I mean, clearly we figured out what they're going for. When you have it all together, they're going for a caramel pumpkin spice latte and it's getting very close to there, I will say. It's basically all the way there. When you have it with the dipping sauce, I'm gonna say it's a hit. Without it, not so much. So do the upcharge. Anywho, the hibiscus, mint julep. I don't know how much I've had hibiscus in the past, but I do know I'm always willing to try something new. I had hibiscus with you. Leave me alone. <laughs> The last specialty mint julep we had, I believe, was the passion fruit one mm -hmm. with the banana beignets. And I will be quite honest, I don't think I can taste a difference between that last one and this one. It's all that, it's very refreshing, but it's that generic fruit flavor with a little bit of lemon and just a whole lot of mint. And I like it, I like it a lot. I would drink another one of these, I probably will. But I'm not sure if like, if you handed me this, me not knowing what hibiscus looks like on an average day or the color, and said drink this, tell me what it is, I would not be able to tell you. But I guess I just negated myself there. If I don't know what hibiscus is, how would I tell you it was hibiscus? Yeah. <laughs> Here's okay. the thing you've never had Cut. before. Let me have it. Cut. Cut. Rhino, what do you think? I, 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 um, I thought the beignets are, I don't, I'm not a person, unless we're doing one of these videos, I'm not going out of my way to get the beignets. I'm here for the mint juleps. And so I'm actually not let down by the hibiscus one, but don't worry, a backup was secured just in case the hibiscus one was not good. For hibiscus, as our friend Chloe has corrected me, and now I will never live this down. But um, yeah, I, I actually, I have hibiscus syrup that I use in like margaritas sometimes or like even an old-fashioned so um, I feel like this flavor for me tastes just like that so I mean I liked it I thought it was a very good complimentary flavor to the to the mint julep so I would recommend giving this one a try sipping the wrong one I would definitely get the beignets again with the dipping sauce I would get the hibiscus mint julep again but that being said, I'm really irritated that the guy at the cash register like really pushed us. We got three beignets and to say like, oh no, you will need two dipping sauces. It's not possible to need this much dipping sauce. You would only need the one dipping sauce. And so now we have two full ones. So yeah, I'm doing it. Rhino said not Don't to. Don't do it. I'm doing it. That's like literally just it. high for fructose corn syrup. God, Craig, you are going to get sick later. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, second time filming this video, something from a tree has fallen into the ice. And now you can't even sip anything to cover up your gross sugary. That's going to do it for this Disney dining review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comment section. If you want to support us more, book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. <laughs> DreamsUnlimitedTravel.com. Yeah. We need better health plans, quickly. That, that's going to do it for Rhino and I here at Disneyland. We'll see you again soon with another Disney Dining Review. Take care. Bye-bye.